Jay Cluddington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Doug Janes. And the Converge Systems group has the Converge Systems 900 for SAP HANA. What exactly is this system? Okay, so this is the uh, newest in our line of uh, sharks for SAP HANA. And uh, basically what it is, is a much bigger server. Uh, it's a combination of technologies from our ProLiant side of the house and our HP Integrity side of the house. Uh, in particular, our Superdome side of the house, and it's bringing you know, massive scalability to SAP HANA and high availability characteristics that really haven't been available to customers outside of our enterprise class customers for the last 14 years. Okay, so back in, I think it was March, the, the Converge System 500 for SAP HANA came out. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between these two systems? Uh, there are a couple of big differences. Uh, obviously, the, one of the major issues or differences between them is the server. The uh, Converse System 500 for SAP HANA is based on the HP ProLiant DL580 Gen 8 server, which is a four processor box rack optimized. It's intended more for entry level to mid range customers, whereas Converse System 900 is based on a server that was specifically developed for SAP HANA. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, it's uh, using a combination of technologies from the ProLiant side of the house and the Superdome side of the house. So it uh, scales all the way up to 16 CPUs and 12 terabytes of memory. Uh, in addition, in the future, it'll have partitioning capabilities and it has uh, enhanced high availability characteristics compared to just the uh, DL580 Gen 8. So much more appropriate for high-end enterprise class customers. What would be a scenario where you would see a customer wanting to rely on, on like this uh, Converse System 900? Because, um, I mean, Superdome is, is obviously known for highly mission critical. Mm -hmm. Is this something that, it, that you could say in effect kind of replaces a Superdome for some scenarios? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say so, no, because again, uh, bearing in mind, this is specifically intended for SAP HANA. And we have to design for a very specific set of criteria that are set by SAP for SAP HANA. So uh, it has to be a particular operating system, SUSE Linux. It has to be a particular microprocessor, so it's the E72890. Um, and, uh, you know, customers that have requirements outside of that, maybe they've got a background of using HP UX as an example, maybe they have a preference for the high-end uh, mission-critical capabilities of the Intel Itanium processor instead of the Intel Xeon processors, you know, there will be customers that will still feel more comfortable with an integrity-based uh, Superdome as opposed to moving everything over to HANA. So we try to give customers choice and not lock them down into, you know, one type of a solution versus another. So. Uh, for the for the HANA customers, mm -hmm. what um, what are kind of the mission critical aspects that people look for? Because I mean, obviously, at the 500 level, I mean, we've talked about it's kind of a more of an entry level system. But what are some kind of things that you would think about using SAP HANA for that would be more mission critical? Uh, I think uh, really the biggest use case that we're going after with this product is customers who are running their mainstream uh, ERP applications. CRM applications, supply chain management applications uh, on legacy databases today. Um, you know, we're trying to encourage them to come over to HANA to take advantage of the additional speed that HANA provides, uh, as well as the ability to do uh, analytics on top of their data real time, as opposed to having to build out an enterprise data warehouse as an example. Uh, so those really are the customers we're trying to attract. And this is a really good uh, reason for using the Superdome server. Uh, SAP is starting to move into these customers that, you know, in the past it was like analytics, okay, if it goes down, you're out of business for a little while, but your company keeps on chugging. Or business warehouse, again, if it goes down, it's going to cause an imposition, but your business is going to keep on going. If your online transactional processing system is down, or your CRM system is down, or your supply chain management system is down, you're out of business. So those customers are looking for that higher level of availability and not just looking for a fast box. Okay, that makes sense to me. And the analytics is something that sounded um, interesting to me. Uh, I had I talked to somebody a little bit earlier uh, briefly about that, but how is the analytics piece fitting into, because normally you take analytics uh, as something that you would offload the data somewhere else, and it yeah. sounds like this is all happening in the, within the same system. Exactly, and, and that's one of the real benefits that uh, we see with uh, using this is that in the past, if you wanted, you would have to have a, a standalone box and you'd have to copy the data into that box. So you have a much more complex uh, architecture that you have to manage. Um, or you would do it using your enterprise data warehouse. Again, you have to copy the data into your enterprise data warehouse. Um, you know, the data is going to be old 
compared to the data that's in the ERP system. So you're you know, going to be working on data that maybe is a week old or a day old or whatever. Now you can have the analytics built right on top of your ERP system. So the data is fresh. It's, as soon as you make a change, it's immediately accessible. And you don't have this extra you know, overhead associated with having a completely separate architecture sitting on the side. So you get the, the advantage of, of the, the lack of overhead, but also you can make decisions faster, I would assume, if your analytics are happening on the data that you that you're like currently have in production. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the whole thrust of it, is to be able to make more intelligent decisions and make those decisions in real time.